Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 41 in chapter 4. In this one, we look at the system and we can see there is a track up to do the uphill, right? And it moves in this slope. And the initial velocity is given, the final velocity is given at this point, and then this track reaches to the velocity becomes zero and it is become stationary and then move back and then in this one we want to find the displacement in this x direction there is i we need to pay attention for this reference point and then there we choose this reference system in x direction is just along this slope and the y direction is just vertically to this slope agree and then you can see in this case we know initial velocity, final velocity, we need to know displacement. So it looks like we find this acceleration. And then everything is done, right? Next problem, how can we find acceleration? We do the force analysis. You can see there for this truck, there must be gravity. And the normal force, the slope to this truck. And then any other force? No, just uh, two forces. Agree? Yes. Then how can we find acceleration along the x direction? We need to project the force along x direction and the y direction. So you can see, there will project the gravity at the y component. This side is mg cosine theta because we know this one is theta, and this one must also be theta. Can you prove that? Yes, because this is a 90 degree. This is also 90 degree. So, and this two should equal, agree? This two should equal. So you can see this one plus this one equals 90, and this one plus this one is 90. And this two are equal, so I can use another, use another corner there. So, these two are equal, this one equals this one, so therefore this angle is theta. And for this angle is theta, we know this is mg cosine theta, and along the x direction it is mg sine theta. Do you agree? Yes. Now we look at the Newton's second law. To write the Newton's second law, we know the late force equals mass times acceleration. Look at the y direction. So. We have F n minus m g cosine theta. We can see for this track, there is no motion at the y direction because it's not jump up and jump down. So this acceleration is zero because at the y, it is stationary. At the y component, it is stationary. Then we look at the x component. So see, you can see the force there is uh, minus m g sine theta because this one is pointing to the negative x direction equals the mass times acceleration. Do you agree? Yes. Now, next one, we can find acceleration along the x direction. This acceleration is just a equals negative g sine theta. And there you can see we know the acceleration. And uh, it's super easy for us to find displacement, right? Because we know initial velocity, final velocity, and acceleration. And for more details, you can see this problem tell you, first thing you find the net force at the x component. And in this way, you find acceleration along x direction. After you get the acceleration, we know initial velocity, final velocity, and so it's super easy for us to get displacement. Thank you.